types of spousal support. There's temporary spousal support, which is support that the court orders while you are going through your divorce. Typically, temporary spousal support is set in a computer system similar to the child support. It's a, it's a program, a software program called Disown Master. And both parties have to truthfully put in their income, their gross income, and all the deductions that are allowed within that software program, such as union dues, um, health insurance, um, any sort of mandated retirement. And then the software program spits out a number and a report, and that's your temporary spousal support. And if you have children, it's your temporary child support. However, if you've already finished your divorce, and you have what we call permanent spousal support, you really have to show a significant change of circumstance in order to have that permanent spousal support modified. The most typical means by which or method of changing a permanent spousal support order is to file a motion with the court and address with the court under the Family Code 4320 factors why your permanent spousal support should be changed. And you are going to have to notify the court with proof as to what the significant and substantial changes that have occurred that warrant the court setting aside the judgment or the permanent support in changing those numbers. It's a fairly high bar. Unlike temporary support, child and spousal, you do have to show a change of circumstance, such as losing your job or the other party getting a raise or income off of stock options or bonuses. These are considered significant changes of circumstance that you would just go back to the court enter in those numbers again on the DISO master and ask the court to recalculate support until you get to your final judgment and get permanent spousal support. Note, child support is always modifiable. There is no such thing as permanent child support. So anytime that somebody loses their job, gets a raise, any of those significant factors someone's going to be marching back to court to ask that it be modified up or modified down. So be aware of what significant changes are not only happening in your income, but in your prior spouse's income and figure out whether you should be modifying or sitting tight.